All right. So the last topic I want to go over in section 1.3 is what's known as the vertical line test. And the vertical line test is a way to tell graphically whether a graph is a function or not. So if we're trying to determine whether something is a function, let's refresh our uh, memory on what we termed to be a function. A function was a relationship between variables such that each input corresponded to at most one output. Now what does that mean? Well, for us, inputs are x values and outputs are y values. So this is saying that one x value can either go to zero y values, it has no y value associated with it, or one y value. We can't have the case where one x value goes to two or more y values that can't happen in a function. It's either got to be the case that each x value goes to no y values or it goes to one y value. So graphically what does this look like? Well if you take a look at something very simple like say a circle is a circle a function? Well, let's just pick an x value at random. Let's look at this, whatever x value this happens to be. There's a y, there's a y value here corresponding to this x value, and there's a y value here. That this one particular x value has two y values associated to it. So this means that a circle cannot be a function. And this is the vertical line test. It says, the vertical line test simply says a graph represents a function if you can never draw a vertical line which crosses the graph more than once. In this case, there's actually infinitely many vertical lines that I can draw here which cross the graph more than once. It's okay if there's more than one. Just one vertical line crossing the graph more than once is enough. If you have more, great. But one is enough to make something not a function. So let me write that out for you. That the vertical line test states the following. That a graph represents a function if and only if there are no vertical lines which cross the graph more than once.
In other words, if we flip this around, a graph is not a function if there's at least one vertical line which crosses the graph more than once. So, things that you know that are functions, lines, anything but a vertical line, you know, but standard uh, y equals mx plus b lines, each one of those is a function because each one of those either looks like this or it has a negative slope, it's going downwards. But each vertical line that I could possibly draw on this graph crosses the line at exactly one point. And therefore, there are no vertical lines which cross the graph at two or more points. So this is a function. If you've seen uh, quadratics or parabolas, those things of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, all of these are functions because they either look like this or they're flipped upside down. They open downwards. But in either case, however many vertical lines I choose to draw and wherever I draw them, I'm always going to cross the graph at exactly one point. So there are no vertical lines that cross this graph at two or more points. So this passes the vertical line test and therefore all quadratics end up being functions as well.